it with Kaine. Hey, at least it, it, the game didn't make you walk back. From my past. Maybe my mind has been confused. Oh man, you sound so bitter. Did any time. other game hurt you like that, huh? Here we go. Please, please point on the doll where Drakengar touched you. Oh my god, she's going super sane. Oh, like we, oh, great, she's already back. Oh, dark hand. Dark hand should be good. What's so dark about this hand? You stole it from a blacker. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> just, just fucking chopped up his hand like it's the fucking Congo. Oh, that's awful. Ooh, yeah, magic hand. Yeah. Yikes, man. Yikes. <laughs> Tr tru truly a yikes moment right there. There's a lot of unpack. Uh... Uh... Oh, sweet. Magic hand that gives me wishes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, where did the wishes come into? <laughs> wait, is this... <laughs> Imagine it. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. Who play... Oh, no, wait. Who played the genie in the live-action Aladdin? It was Will Smith, wasn't it? Uh... Yes. Uh, oh no. <laughs> and Idris Ilpa also played a different genie in another movie as well. But, I, uh, and, and obviously Sonic there's 2? Also, there's also Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> there's also... <laughs> we can forget Shaq in his iconic role as Kazam. Why do they keep getting black people to play genies? That's so racist. <laughs> it kind of is. I mean... It's fair, you're never gonna get a white man to give you wishes, but still. It's an allegory to the monkey paw. It's... it... oh no... <laughs> she takes one look at that fuck, at that ugly ass skeleton face and she goes, never mind, getting petrified was better. Mm. Put me back in! Put, put me back in! Freeze me again! I don't care that it's dead, just use me to lock the door. Damn, Emil, you got fucked up. You still recognize me? Wow. Yeah, sure. That face gets dumber the more I look at it. Good to see you, Kaine. You look like shit. You look like a whore. <laughs> the two only prostitutes of the land band together. <laughs> you and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us. I would not I want to live you. in the same village as a freak of nature like this. Though. Right, Kaine? Mm. I'm used to sleeping outside. So I think so I think the Wonder Twins' proposition is actually very reasonable. We'll see you later. We're sorry. Actually, yeah, we're not. Get out of here. Floating. Actually, we're not sorry. Get out of here, you fucking circus freaks. What is the matter? Mm. Floating so skeleton boy outside. isn't really the uh, vibe you want in your village. Why is he floating so high? <laughs> because he knows I'm gonna try to take a pot shot at him. Honestly, since Yoko Taro is on a whole mil is is really on a roll milking his milking his intellectual property by making by having a near automata anim anime happen. We should there should be a cut. No, Wait, never mind. That's actually hap that's actually happening. That's yeah. actually an anime happening. Yes. yes, the game the game whose most interesting storytelling elements are only made possible in the context of a game. They're making an anime of that. Amazing. Okay. But Honestly, go with me. I, I, I would go all the way, considering what a fucking hack he is and how much he likes mm. to milk his franchise. The near automata anime is has not is nothing it's not actually Retelling the story of Nero. What the fuck is Kanye doing? She's just being patient. He's doing. Uh, uh... Oh, okay. We. His home planet needed him, I suppose. <laughs> no. This is. What a shit show. Let's try. Uh... We try Dark Phantas. Dark Phantasmagoria. What the fuck? What the. <laughs> 
<laughs> Was that Dark Phantasmagoria? What? R random, sh random shadow event. <laughs> What is this? What is this? What is this? Who's like? Wait, what? Just uh. Just wait, 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 hold on, hold on. There's an easy. Okay. Yeah. What does this change? Fundamentally. I thought I would be able to take advantage of the extra space, but now that I have the extra space, I really have no idea how I'm supposed to take advantage of it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Maybe it's rather, um... No. Oh, okay. Now this. Now what does this change? This changes nothing. Curious. Oh. <laughs> I... Oh, it's like an area of effect thing. Everyone caught in the caught in the time to stop time. Uh, gets. It's a world, though. Yes. Yeah, Kanye. Is this something you like about that piece of wall? The blood. Cyril likes the blood. Ah, edgy, just like how Yukotaro likes it. Uh... Damn. No, it's not the time to discuss Kendrick. Kendrick, L Kendrick yeah. Lamar's worst <laughs> album. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Like the newer one was a lot better, actually. The new one was is my favorite, honestly. Oh really? Damn. Yeah. Wait, no, not damn. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, you don't say damn. You say Mr. Morale. <laughs> I feel. I feel like ironically. I've never been a massive fan of *The Paper Butterfly*, even though it, I, I get the popularity because it because it's a really ambitious album and it's clearly like been thoroughly worked on. But honestly, I feel like the more scattershot nature of Mr. Morale's material allows the individual songs to shine more. It's kind of easy to see it as basically, oh, it's his, you know, it's his uh, COVID lockdown album, uh, so it's purposely a little scattered here. It's purposely sort of scattered in sound, etc. As uh, a lot of albums recorded in that period seem to be in some capacity. But I also think he really... I think lyrically he really shines on it, especially in the second half. I think it's some of his most... Uh, like stuff like Ani Diaries and Mother I Silver is really some of his most uh, personal material. And I think... I felt like I really got some... Like it's the one that really gives the most insight into Emma. In some form. Right. I wasn't necessarily. I was expecting something interesting. I wasn't necessarily expecting that much because I was. It was an. It's an artist I liked but never really loved. But honestly, I was really impressed. Though. I do think that it has some of his best individual work, and uh, like with Pimp Butterfly, I do feel that the second half. Is a bit Hold on. I'm, I don't really care much about the second half. But uh, I still kind of prefer it over there. Probably my favorite is still Kid. Yeah, up until that point, my favorite was Good Kid, Mad City. I guess I just I guess I just prefer the. Uh... I just prefer the more classic like hip hop sound in that album. To Pimba Butterfly goes more goes a bit more all over the place, but sometimes it almost feels like it, like it does one thing in one song and then it switches to another thing. Right, gotcha. Like I, the first half of I is a great song, but I don't really dig the a cappella verse because so. I think the because I think it's got a great funk vibe, and then it just drops it. But. The way that I think about it, right, is that uh, the actual song itself. Is the single version, and the one you get in uh, the album is more like a segue into uh, the ending. The ending, and also like a, a political statement that Kendrick wants to make yeah. about people killing each other for no fucking reason. Yeah, I, I guess you could see that. Like it's a, like it's a reprise of it, uh, yes. rather than just putting it back into the album. I can, yeah, I can get that. Uh. Let me put it this way. Uh, 
the single version is about Kendrick dealing with his problems and coming out better from for it. But in the album, the album itself is less about Gen Kendrick and more about his uh, messiah complex, let's say, about the black community. <laughs> yeah. So he, he, at that point, in uh, when you get to I in the studio album uh, version, it's it's good that Kendrick managed to get out of it, but his own personal growth means jack shit ultimately about the black community in general. Oh well, yeah, that's the... Well, I feel like the whole question of Messiah Complex is something that really... is something that really... Elaborate... I feel like that's something more elaborated on in Mr. Morale, because it's also... like, that's also... that's a big... Thing in the album, sort of him just tackling the the reputation he got, because he became fucking massive with it's a Pippa Butterfly. No, but yeah, like that's definitely yeah, I get what I you mean, because that's that was the big because uh, I feel like that's sort of the big uh, thematic conceit of to Pippa Butterfly. It's his like the the compare the the similarities and the contrast of his own personal growth with the situation of the African American community uh, at large. Uh. Yeah. And it's like, uh, in Mr. Morales, it's more like he's gone to therapy, he understands that he himself cannot do meaningful change on his own, you know? Mm -hmm. So, he's looking at it, he's engaging it in a more uh, productive and more healthy way from himself, for himself. Because damn, it just kind of feels like this tired thing where he's, uh, Disillusioned, so we say, with the fact that he is not the black messiah for the community. Yeah. That's how it felt to me, at least. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I don't know who to. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we've been I, talking I about. No we've we've been talking yeah, about Kendrick Impact for all this time, and it's like. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what, what I'm doing. What doing? Peter Savage Kaikud, episode 6, Kendrick Lamar. The Kendrick discussion. The Kendrick episode. <laughs> so what the fuck am I doing? Where am I? Yeah, is there more puzzles to solve or are you like... Like, I solved all these puzzles... Wait, 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 hold on. Let's, let's go all the way back here, because... I've just been, like, solving puzzles, and it brought me somewhere. And then it was just brought me to a bunch of items. So. Like, maybe I need to jump up to someplace? So. Let's let's check a second time. Is this just an optional thing that you got a reward, a reward for? I if. It... Oh no 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 no! There it is. Okay, it's nah. good. I went back. I want you to. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry for what? Our I'm daddy told to us not to be. <laughs> I want them to let you. <laughs> Dude, yeast lord. The two-handed breadstick. I'm, you're I'm gonna done. you're gonna beast on some lords. Oh, no 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 no! I need to get out. I need to leave. I need to leave. Too too late. The uh, the satyrs are compiling. Oh my god! It's 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 him. Damn. It's the Funko. One that survived. It's Funko. It's it's What's Funky Chef on? from the He's Imperial uh, from the from the Boreal Valley. Please, these creatures cannot abide the sun. Lure them into the light. Honestly, they're doing a great. This madman needs to be stopped. This... <laughs> Who can stop this madman? <laughs> now he brings another one. Now, now you gotta hit him some oh, more times. She'll kill the one. Oh my god. Damn, he's been out of control. See, well, you can't hear, but in, Look is, that uh, inside that... <laughs> the the oh, armor yeah. strider. Yeah, what you can't hear is uh, during those spins, he's just blaring, uh, don't stop me now, <laughs> inside that fucking giant helmet. Running in the night. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh hell yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah. That's a... Damn, we just got her back. Whoopsie.
Are you, are you telling me we turned a meal into a skeleton child for nothing? Well, <laughs> that's, that's clearly just... not. She's dead. Yeah, cle clearly that's 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 what we've all been waiting for. That's clearly what it's all been building up to. Imagine if he actually did tap his head, like tap small head. Head pat. He. T <laughs> well done, you. Wait, wait, what was it from? Uh, uh, at home alone, tapping help. the head, touching, gently touching I the head. No, Kaine. You still haven't released Dada too. Kaine. Kaine. <laughs> the imploded setup with compiled shaders. Oh. We've we've unlocked the new a new form, Obama Kaine. Oh Jesus. I need something with more range. Um Yeah, dark. you you're right, you do need more range. The jokes are getting kinda samey. I I couldn't hold it back. I can't be with you. We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. If I don't you, care how if tough you it get is, up and we'll get just you beat back. you up some more. I like more. sleeping outside because yeah. I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and sad and lonely, but somehow you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you, so you can't go away. <laughs> All right. Damn, bro, stop trauma dumping. Trauma Bring down the mood. Dumping. Trauma dumper. Over there, we're gonna find God. <laughs> There's no God here. Don't fool yourself. The law of robotics. The memory tree, that's my favorite R.L. Stein book. Honestly, these all have the, the vibe of like like mid-run goosebumps uh, titles i was about to say the most uh, the most boring 2000s prog rock albums uh, with <laughs> slight, with slight metal elements uh. i mean what's the difference between a nice prog rock album and goosebumps <laughs> okay okay we're forming a prog band all of our songs are named after go after after <laughs> The Goosebumps episodes, and then we have a prog metal sideband where it's all episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, For real grown ups. Easiest thing in the world murder and daughter. But not murder daughter. <laughs> the end is important. In instructions unclear. You know, when I stop whining like a bitch, the game actually becomes tolerable. <laughs>